Hello, hello, lovely people. Thank you for tuning in today on my channel, Life with Nikki D. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So today I have two um, inspections with Sandcastle, and I said, why not? I haven't made a video about Sandcastle in a very, very long time, so why not show y'all a little bit how it goes? Okay, so you sign up for Sandcastle on their website, and if they have work in your area, you are a sign that work. So you will receive a printout of everything which you're supposed to do. And on their website, it has a tutorial video, like a little video training of showing you step-by-step -step what to do. Also, it tells you before you sign up how much they pay. So everybody will always want to know, well, how much do they pay? They pay what they pay. Okay, it's all listed on their website. So I have two on here today that was in my area. Um, I hadn't gotten any in a while. They were a little bit further out than what I wanted to um, travel. So I have two today. Um, one is due today and the other one's due tomorrow, but since they're calling for rain, I'm just going to ahead and do both of them today. And I beat I met my quota for the income I want to earn today, so I'm good. I can count towards today's income because I try to make a certain amount each and every day that I'm alive and breathing. Okay, so it tells you required visit times. On this one, this is a rush order, so it says please rush. So it'll tell you um, on your paper. You know, I print this off so I can read it. If they, just in case anything has changed that I might not have been aware of, right? Because sometimes it's a little headache trying to get in touch with them. I'm just putting it out there now. But they will, you know, they will get in contact with you. So um, it wants me to go out and do this letter drop between 8 a.m. and 9 p.m. So the time is, let's see what time it is. It's 10, 16. So by the time I drive there, it should be about 10, 30 maybe. And all I'm doing is it gives you a printout what you what they want you to do. So on this field inspection, um, field visit assignment, it says photo requirements. They want me to take a picture of the address, the, the house, the envelope. So I always keep my stuff together. So I keep my envelope together and the letter that I'm going to um, enclose inside that envelope. I can show you what it looked like a little bit. I don't want to show you because I don't want none of their personal information to come out. So that's what I do. Just paper clip the envelope together with the letter that goes inside of it. Because you have to take a picture of the envelope that you put on personal confidential and that person's name. And you have to take a picture of the letter that goes inside of it. Then you have to take a picture of all of it enclosed inside of the envelope. So that's when I made a video on our TikTok channel of me going to get some painter's tape. So this is what I use. To place the letter on their on their door okay painter tape so you won't mess up their door so this is what I use when I do field inspections and I use painter tape so I open it up of course you know how to open up tape y'all and I put it on the ends of the envelope on both sides I put it on tape it on this side tape it on this side right and I tape it on I push it on the door if they're not there but if I get someone that it responds to the door knock, if it's that particular person, then um, I hand in the letter. But if I don't get no response, um, I just tape it on the door. So it pays you different fees. So it pays you if, I keep getting notification, I'm sorry. It pays you um, one fee if you are able to actually have, make contact with the person. And then it pays you another fee if you just have to leave it on the door. So let me go back over the um, pictures that they require so y'all kind of know. I know I'm running through it right quick, but I just be wanting to let y'all know. Print this stuff off with y'all. And bring it with you if you have a printer. You can pull it up on your phone, but sometimes the GPS trying to um, locate, being yourself when you're at that location, I don't be liking that sometimes. So I like to make sure I know what pictures I need because I'm not driving back out there. I'm gonna tell you that now. Okay, so it says it wanna pitch one picture of the address that means their house number then it wants a picture of the envelope containing the letter that's one picture then they want a, a picture of the envelope posted on the door that's one picture and if you see any for sale signs they want one picture of that they want pictures of vehicles that's on the property and then they want a picture of the printed letter like i showed you and then they want the service address in the front so they want you to stand in front of the house and take a picture Okay, so address verification just means the, the mailbox number, okay? So don't get it confused. So what I tell everyone to do is if you're nervous, you know, take your pictures first. Take those pictures first. So that's proof that you was there on the property. So in case you get to the door and some pushback, it's never been pushed back, but just in case um, you get pushed back, you've have, you got your proof that you was there. If your phone's not picking up the location in the app, you got pictures on your phone saying you was there. Then you go to your computer at home and upload everything. That's what I do sometimes. 
if I keep trying to log my location in my phone and it doesn't go, that's what I do. So um, that's the pictures that they want for this first one. And I think both of them are pretty much the same today. Um, I'm not quite sure. Sometimes it's motorcycle purchases. People are behind on their payments. What is this for? I'm not quite sure what these are for. Mm. Um, but this is the first attempt. So it'll tell you how many attempts that this company has tried to make with these particular people. Sometimes they want you to reach out to the neighbor. I don't reach out to the neighbor. I try not to take those closings or those assignments. I'm saying closing, get me something notary business, y'all. Had two closings yesterday. Um, so yeah, it tells you the address. It tells you the um, person's name. It tells you when it was assigned, when it's due, and the order number. And it tells you the fee. Okay. So I hope this helps if you're thinking about it's a mortgage. This was a mortgage. This was a mortgage. Okay. It says collateral slash loan type mortgage. So they must be behind on the HOA or something with the mortgage. So, and they have a representative to get in touch with. I've never contacted the representative before, but it has numbers on here if you ever get, you know, Leary or whatnot, um, on who to contact if you can't get in touch with Sandcastle. But like I said, they give you training and everything. Um, as you can see right here on the top, let me see if I can just point and do it like this. You see, just print this off and this tells you. Y'all can see that? And then they got that little QR code. I don't want y'all scanning that and find out these people's information and y'all blaming me. So it tells you print it off. That's what it says. The phone number right here. So if y'all want to um, apply, this is the name of the company, Sandcastle Field Visit. So y'all going to knock these out today. Today is my son's birthday, so I'm going to go home, finish, um, celebrate with him if he's not going out, hanging out. And yeah, that'd be it for the day. So, y'all want to sign up for Sandcastle? Go ahead and sign up for Sandcastle. I don't have a referral for that company. I wish I did. Maybe if I get enough people to sign up, I tell you about it and you like it, man. You know, people are talking about, well, they don't pay this, they don't pay that. You know, a dollar's better than no dollar. So, you do what you want to do. I'm just bringing you the information. And I hope that I can share my experience with you all so y'all won't be so fearful to get out here and change your life by making more income. The only way you can save money is to make more money.